Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I have a little bit of a treat for you guys tonight. Uh, one of my customers sent me this motor over. It's a Quantum Magnetics. And uh, yeah, she's a beauty. It's, it's a big motor. So, see, the, we're basically 12 by 12. And um, this has six magnet or six magnets in the middle, and then we have six coils, and then six coils in the back. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful motor. So the customer had this. He bought it six years ago, and um, the batteries went bad on the back, and um, he wanted to, you know, do a little update on do some new circuitry. He um, wants to do a Bedini circuit and a MOSFET circuit and um, this is the MOSFET circuit right here um, I have these on my website if you guys are interested energy.store so this is a Hall effects one and then I just have all the coils right now in parallel I have these split off so I, when I do a Bedini circuit these will be for the power of the Bedini and then these will be the trigger so you guys could see those as I start building them and see how this thing does so yeah it's a pretty neat little motor it um this is a 7 8 shaft so yeah did some nice work so this was um this was the old circuit that was on there um the solid state relay and the batteries used to charge this super cap and then it would alternate on and off and um and then he used some of the coils for um, generator and um, yeah really nice work but um so we're gonna start doing this more like this now and um, yeah so this is the MOSFET circuit with Hall effects and um, right now we're running at 1% pulse width and we're basically using almost nothing this is like the average is about 9, nine milliamps right now so um, we have the output hooked up to this so we have a little cap dump here and um, I have the digital and analog meters as you guys can see so let's um, start turning this thing up a little bit you guys can see the waveform so this is the pulse width modulation chop So let's go to 50 milliamps. So there's basically 50 milliamps. And um, yeah, this is what our cap dump's doing. So this cap dump is um, set up with a 16 volt zinger. So we're doing about 17 and a half volts out of this at about 800 milliamps. And um, so you can see the RPM coming up. So we'll keep coming up here. So here's full power, no more pulse width. And um, this is actually inverted, so this is the off time up on top. So we're doing about 300 milliamps, and um, here's our output and the cap dump, the right hand side. Um, we're just running 12 volt battery, so input battery, uh, output battery, and um, so yeah, 17 volts, 17.5 volts, about almost one amp, and then we're using 300. And um, as we load this thing up, everything starts increasing. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty strong motor. I can't even stop this sucker. There's one one full amp. So yeah, it's a really cool motor, and um, you loosen these bolts and adjust the timing right here too, which is super cool. So yeah, so on this circuit right now we're just on the regular SG output, uh, the normal Bedini output, and I have a switch for generator mode. So um, this doesn't work very good with the cap dump. So we take this off. Slow this down. And turn this off, and we'll get rid of this cap dump here. So generator mode likes to go straight to the battery a lot better. 
So I'll plug this in right here. All right, so input, output. All right, so let's fire this thing up a little bit. So when we go in generator mode, um, it's a little bit different setup. Even at, even if you're going super slow, um, it'll still put power into the battery, which is kind of amazing. So in regular mode, um, the diode comes off here and goes to the output. But on generator mode, it comes out here and then it goes back the second diode back to the negative of the first battery where the SG or Bedini mode, it goes um, in series, it puts the batteries in series. So, so let's switch this over and turn this down a little. Three percent. So motor slows down, and um, so here's. We'll bring this up to about two. So, here's our input. Here's our output, which are very very similar. So. Or about 85 to 90 percent, maybe some more. But um, one thing is the meter doesn't pick up the spike. So, so we have all of this going into the battery, as well as the generator effect and the square waves. So, the meter is actually not picking up everything, and it's still really good. I mean, this is a slow speed, but we could bring this up. So if we take it to one amp, so we're one amp right there. So at one amp, we're you know 60 to 80 percent return, which is pretty good. So yeah, pretty neat. So we'll just switch this back. So yeah, I can't use very much power right now on on Gen mode because this will just peg those out <laughs> anyway thanks for watching guys